Okay, yesterday we also talked about applying a brain profile and neural analytics <clears throat> to a clinical case. And the clinical case, uh, which I will send you and is actually uh, available on Neural Analysis LinkedIn group. This case is a pretty simple case and common case for heart psychiatry of, of a psychotic patient who is suffering from hallucinations, loosening of associations and delusions. So we, we try to look at the brain profile of neural analytics in how to do it. And we actually, when we go to the brain profile of neural analytic page, as you can see here, we press the symptom button and we look for the symptoms and the combination. You can see that there is the combination of symptoms until we find hallucinations, loosening of associations and delusions, we press that and we get a schematic drawing of the disturbance of this specific uh, phenomenological pattern. Red means disconnection. So you see there is an activation in the cortex disconnected from the input that would be hallucinations, perception without stimulus. Loosening of association will be related to a widespread of hub executive, a central executive network disturbance of disconnection. So the whole cortical organization is disconnected in the sense that it is statistically independent, but more specifically it is related to small world network disturbance. And then we also have over connectivity, strengthening the connectivity between higher levels of cortical representation, biasing the incoming lower level of information, this could bias the incoming logical assumptions and generate false ideation, false unshakable ideas or thoughts, which would be actually the origin of uh, delusions. So we have the loosening of association, delusions and hallucinations. All of these disturbances combined to generate this phenomenology. And um, in order to have a text, of this, you just press a description and you get the description that I just talked about. And if you press the treatment button, you get two things. One, the predicted imaging. So this is the information for those who want to predict a testable hypothesis of what this specific patient is suffering from and you can extract it by signal processing from imaging uh, devices that would be EEG, fMRI, and treatments. In the treatment part, you can have some intuition about additional treatments that today exist, but are not combined in a specific manner tailored for this specific patient. So for this specific phenomenology, these are the combinations. Typically we would give antipsychotics, but there are other methods of treatment today like TACS, TDCS, and VR technology, which are used today in separate because there is no theoretical basis to combine them. And here we can get this additional, additional uh, edge of combining them. So this is actually what you're required to do. You're required to go into this program and try it on your patients. And this is the development phase where we develop a new approach of uh, brain-related etiological uh, formulation for mental disorders.